Hey Leo, this is your July 2023 monthly forecast. Thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. I am going to jump right into some insights and I want to pick a crystal for you guys for the month of July. First, let's start with these couple of messages that I picked up in meditation. Like, I'm feeling this very playful energy from you guys, which makes sense if you're in the northern hemisphere of the world and you are um, you are in summertime, smack dead in summertime. July is the month for you to get out and get active, get playful, have a good time. I'm also feeling this very cocky energy from you, from, from you as well, okay? So don't get too cocky. Confidence is great, okay? But I'm feeling this energy of like everybody wants me, okay? So, all right, Leo, all right? <laughs> but I'm also feeling too that someone or you may have the hots. You may have the hots for someone or someone has the hots for you, Leo, okay? So there's a lot of playfulness. A lot of fiery energy as you are a fire sign, okay? And you are a lion. Here you roar, okay? It is happening for you during the month of July here. Let's pull a crystal that you can take during this month of July. So that's something that you can carry in your pocket, your purse, carry it in your bra if you want. You can put it under your pillow, put it by your bedside. Make sure that you cleanse this crystal. Um, there are various ways that you can cleanse the crystal. You can look those up on Google. Make sure you pray over it. Set an intention. Whatever you want to do with your crystal, this is a good month for you to carry. Green tourmaline. And I don't have green tourmaline with me, but I have a little black one. This little black piece of tourmaline here. But this green tourmaline, so whether it's black or green, you can do that. But this one says green because this is about abundance, okay? Abundance and prosperity are, are an infinite supply. So your mantra is, or your affirmation for this month is, I am grateful for the blessings in my life. So being in gratitude, okay? Being in gratitude this month is very important for you. Believe in the unlimited wealth and success for yourself and for people that are around you. Act philanthropically, okay, so as you expressing as you're expressing your gratitude, you know make sure you give back, make sure making sure that that giving and receiving ratio are balanced, realize the infinite supply of uh, that is available to you, especially when it comes to your prosperity, okay, so make sure you are in a place of um, your heart, your heart space, the um, heart center business associ associates as well or associations that you could have this this month as well. So green tourmaline is your stone for the month of July. Okay, so let's hop into some angel messages for you. See what's coming up. See what do your spirit guides and angels have for you this month? What's going on here with Leo? You're very close to achieving your goal here. Look at that. Very close to achieving a goal. And I feel like the sky is the limit. Okay, I'm hearing for I'm hearing this message of prayer. So incorporating prayer into your daily practice, um, not getting what's the word that I'm looking for? Um, some of you are praying about the same things is what I'm hearing. You're praying about the same things, hoping for a miracle. So believing in your prayer is most important. Connecting with the moon this month is going to be um, beneficial for you. First off, just soaking up the energy of the moon. And um, it puts you in this place of alignment and, and, and fearlessness is what I'm hearing as well. So you're very close to achieving your goals. Some of you have been in a place of fear of, fear of success, fear of rejection. But I feel like you're very close to something, okay? I was here in hard knocks, hard knocks. Maybe it's been some of you have been on hard times lately, but things are um, unfolding for you. So things are about to change for you here, Leo. Okay, whether that is on in your relationships or that is in um, your career or finances, things are about to change. Whatever the whatever it is that you've been hopeful for, there's about to be a shift for the better. We have the intelligence card here for you as well as well as the dreams card okay so this is what i mean about you know really focusing on this um prayer so praying before bedtime making sure that you're feeling your mind body and spirit with good things so that when you go to bed 
you you know you're have your you have good thoughts okay making sure you cleanse yourself before you go to bed here okay so I'm here I'm hearing this um, research okay some of you are needing to research or to um, elevate your knowledge <clears throat> reading is going to help It's going to be good for you so taking a little quiet time this month to to read but I feel like an end of a cycle is um, is unfolding it feels like some of you have been going through a spiritual awakening whether you're aware of it or not have been going through a spiritual awakening and it feels like there's the it's the end of that or and and or this is an end of a cycle for some of you so you're moving into a new nine-year cycle is what I'm feeling as well so this is about getting educated and really you know tapping into that inner wisdom that intelligence that may for some of you lie dormant within you or some of you that are, are trying to tap into that energy that infinite wisdom um, this is a month for you to just do a little bit more research and get yourself familiar with whatever it is that you're wanting to move into okay so this is about you developing a different perception during the month of July so you're going to be seeing things different here differently okay this month is also about you being flexible Okay, what can you be more flexible in or with or with who? Um, first, thing, first things first is you, Leo. Okay, so you need to take a little bit more time to yourself for that research, for that quiet time, for that connecting with the moon, for that getting in a place of alignment and really tapping into your inner wisdom here. I, I feel like there are messages, there are signs, there are symbols that are popping up in your dreams. You can keep, keep a dream journal next to your bed. Also, remember if you are, don't, if you are not carrying your green tourmaline with you throughout the day you can keep that by your bedside here um, because this is about you believing in unlimited wealth and success okay so this is about you being in a place of gratitude abundance and prosperity are an infinite supply so if you have been in a place of scarcity know that that is shifting for you okay there's definitely shifting as I said this nine year cycle is coming to an end you're starting a new cycle or you are at the tail end of a spiritual awakening phase so be in a place of gratitude here there is a lot of guidance that is um, being given to you in the un from the unseen world okay so let's get your most recent energy let's see what's coming up for you here Leo most recent energy here we have the Queen of Swords okay so this <laughs> most recently some of you have been in this place of um, you know trying to gain your independence trying to be open-minded you've been honest some of you have been brutally honest <laughs> to someone or multiple people and maybe it has not come out in a very loving way okay so it feels like things are going to be changing some of you maybe part of this inner guidance this inner wisdom this intelligence that we're talking about here is you learning a new way of communicating okay so that it's not so it's not always so ah in your face abrupt very fiery and, and intense okay um, because this is a place of you um, being very direct and constructive you may be giving constructive criticism and maybe giving opinions in you know criticisms where they're not needed where you were not asked so there needs to be a shift here so that's the most recent energy that some of you were in um i don't really like spending too much time in the past so we're going to move on to this overall energy here for the month of july what's the overall energy for leo we have the Nine of Wands as well as the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So some of you have been feeling a bit fatigued or feeling like you have been set back um, in, in something, okay? Been feeling a bit guarded or you've been, you know, pushing back or pushing forward too much on something that it's pushing it, pushing it away whether this is a relationship or a job or just your thoughts it just feels like an energy of overwhelm okay with the nine of wands energy like there's just there's a lot going on you're drained exhausted your energy is just feeling um, may feel depleted this month so it may be something that you be you may be putting too much energy and time into that may not be suitable for you you know or that can go the other way as well okay so maybe this when it comes to your career or your business 
it has something to do with money for some of you, mainly because I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles and some of you have been investing a lot of time, whether you're working overtime, whether, I mean, you know, you're, you're working more than what you get paid to do. Um, <coughs> excuse me, there's just an energy of exhaustion, of feeling drained, almost like you can't move forward because you're just, um, you're consumed in whatever it is that you're doing here. So that's an overall energy for this month of just, um, you know, investing this time and energy into something. But if it is your business, if it is something that you love, there is a beautiful ending to this too with the Ace of Pentacles. There is a new opportunity that can come in that can bring you profits, bring you revenues, bring you happiness as well. Okay, so there are money opportunities that are on the horizon for you. If you are investing and putting a lot of time into something that you love doing, there you will reap the rewards on the other side of that. Okay, so it will help you build security. And that's what some of you are looking for here, Leo, is building security. And that is definitely um, on the horizon for you. So abundance, abundance, abundance. So whatever it is that you have been putting your head down, working so hard at, um, it is definitely paying off for you this month. So I almost feel like there is an ending to the exhaustion. So I feel like you've been putting all this time and energy into something and may not have seen the benefits. But now this month is going to be like, hey, all your hard work has paid off here, okay, which is pretty awesome. Let's see what obstacles may be coming up for you this month here. Oh, all right. The Three of Swords, the Emperor, and the World. So we have two major arcanas with the um, Emperor and the World energy here. Okay, so some obstacles that may come up for you. So some of you may feel sad. Maybe there could be a betrayal in something, um, or there could be um, a third-party situation for some of you that may come up as well. Maybe also there could be um, a decision uh, so, someone higher than you, someone has authority over you that they may make a decision to do something, separate, um, which brings on sadness as, as well. But I feel like in the end, it is going to be worth your while. It is going to be uh, lucrative for you. It is going to benefit you, although in the moment it may seem like your world has, you know, shattered. I, de I definitely feel that there is going to be a shift a shift for the better okay so although it may be an obstacle of feeling that temporary sadness or grief or, or you know parting ways with someone or something and you feeling like heartbreak and there's all this this um what's the word some of you may be feeling a sense of um depression i do feel like there is going to be a shift as well okay there's going to be a shift but like i said the shift is for it's for the betterment of you and <clears throat> whether this is you parting ways with um, a job or company or you parting ways with a, a partner, this definitely works out for you. You'll feel a lot freer. You'll feel like uh, more fulfilled. You'll feel happier. You'll feel whole. And, and at the end of the day, with that world energy here, we talked about early, um, earlier an end of um, a cycle. So what whatever this ending that is coming up whatever this ending is it is for your highest good so it may feel it may sting for a second but know that it is the best thing for you here leo so we are here preparing you for whatever this may be um, that comes up for you this obstacle but there is going to be good on the other side of that okay so for some of you it may take a while um but whatever this is um there could be an energy of you you think you're on the right path but things get shaken up a little bit and your and spirit guides you to the path that you're supposed to be on okay so if you are needing answers to something there are signs symbols messages that are coming to you giving you guidance within you, in your dream state okay so pay attention to your dreams this month is going to be um is going to help you through some of these situations here okay let's see where you're headed this month We have the tower where you're headed this month, okay? And it seems like it's like earth shattering, like it's just so neg negative. But I feel like 
there is just going to be a change that is going to be coming up for you here this month, Leo. Okay, and it, like I said, it may seem shocking. It may seem like it's destructive, like your whole world is coming down on you. But I do feel like that's a temporary, it's a temporary um, position that you'll be in. I'm going to pull one more card on that too. <laughs> Look at that, Eight of Wands. So some of you may, re may receive some sort of communication. Um, from something or from someone that, you know, creates a little bit of upheaval or, ca or, or chaos. So you may re be receiving some news or a message or an announcement or something that's going to put you in this place of like, oh my God, like my life has changed. But on the other, that, on the other side of that is now we have double freedom. Okay, so we have more freedom, more time, more excitement for life, more creativity, more happiness is what I'm feeling here. Building confidence as well this month. But there's going to be a lot of changes uh, for you this month. Okay, so a lot of communication. You're going to have to make decisions about, you know, what's, what's the best decision for you, Leo, is going to be the most important question you ask yourself this month. What's going to be best for you? If money is not an object, what is the best thing for you? Because it feels like that money is coming, but you have to make the best decision for yourself in order to open that that portal for the for the prosperity to flow into you. Because it's right there. You're right there. There's there's a change that's happening, and it's a beautiful thing. It's an end, end of a cycle, an end of an awakening phase, and, and spirit is pushing you to this next level. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what's coming towards you. The full, a new opportunity to begin something new. Look at that. A new opportunity for you is coming in for you to take a risk and for you to also be independent. So whether, whether that is independent from a relationship, independent from a company, um, independent from working for the man, you, you know, you're going out on your own and starting your own thing. There is new beginnings that are, are unfolding for you. And Spirit is saying to take the risk and to, um, you know, step on blind step out on blind faith that's going to come with this with this knowledge that you're gaining through this process through this awakening phase here so that's what's coming towards you here is taking a leap of faith on something so there is definitely a lot of change here and i feel like it's going to put you in this position of really trusting you really trusting your decision decision making process okay so this month is all about independence and expressing to yourself and to those around you, whether it is a boss or whoever this person may be, um, what, you, what you're worthy of, okay? So speaking your truth this month, okay? What are you worth is the question to ask yourself as well. All right, so let's see um, what, advice, what advice do we have for Leo this month? We have the will of fortune. <laughs> Look at that. Change, change, change for the best. Okay? So, Spirit is saying if you follow this advice, things are going to change. Good luck is on your side. Happiness is on your side. These are life lessons that you're going through. There are going to be unexpected things that are going to come your way this month. But fortune is on your side if you are mainly <laughs> focused on financial fortune. That is coming up for you as well. But when it comes to love, that is coming up for you as well. It's about you taking a taking a risk, okay? Stepping out on faith, um, believing in fate as well, because the change is for your highest good. I can I can't emphasize that um, enough. Change is uh, is for your highest good here this month, okay? So things are going to be looking a bit different for you this month, but it's all for the betterment of your life and those that are around you here. So, in taking this advice. Understanding that unexpected things are going to happen this month. It may seem a bit hasty. It may seem a bit chaotic. You may seem like things are just, your world is collapsing. It's not. Things are changing. Things are not looking the way that they used to because this there's a new level up for you. Okay? So let's see what's happening in your near future here. What's coming up for you in your near future here, Leo? We have the hermit. Okay? And I, and I don't, you know what? I don't blame you for taking this time away after everything that you are going to be enduring this month of, you know, unexpected events and feeling all of these, um, the ebb and flow of emotions. Um, 
to want to take a step back at some point. Okay, take a step back to see the bigger picture, but really just explore all of the things that have that you have undergone in, you know, even just this year. This could be a whole lifetime for some of you, but this is a new phase, so you're ascend uh, you're going to be asc ascending to a new level. I mean, I've already said that before, but you know, in the near future you may decide to just take a step back. Not a not an energy of isolation, but more of solitude of really just understanding how things have unfolded for you. And you can be in a place of gratitude. Remember, we have this green tourmaline energy of I am grateful for the blessings in my life. OK, and although they may have seen hectic at hectic at that time, it has been it is a blessing. OK, so you're going to need to take a little time out for some self care. OK, so. Let's just see what your final outcome is. What's the final outcome here for Leo? We have the Four of Pentacles energy. So final outcome is you're going to be in a position to be able to save, to invest. Um, you're going to have that financial security that is definitely coming in for you. Okay, make sure you're not in a place of greed. And I don't feel like, you know, that's the energy that I'm getting from you here, Leo, with everything that you have um, undergone or will be undergoing. But make sure that you are, um, make sure that you are, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Expressing to the universe how grateful you are and all of the, the financial abundance that comes into your life. You're able to give that energy back out into the universe, whether that is, you know, shopping for yourself, for other people, giving people money, making sure that you are not in this place of, um, you know, overextending yourself, but also making sure that you're not in a place of greed or hoarding, okay, of holding on to things. Remember that money flows in a cycle and it is all about energy. So, you know, happy money, like giving out, giving out, happily giving out this money so that money returns to you. So there is never a, there is never a depletion in your money. So um, this four of pentacles energy is saying that you're going to be in the place to to give but also to save so that's that's an energy of having enough okay enough to go around there is no scarcity okay so you'll have enough to give to save invest in yourself invest in other people travel and i'm also feeling that too um yeah i mean it's a lot of exciting things but on the other side of that there are challenges getting to that that excitement and that happiness okay but i believe in you leo and you can do it okay so that is your reading, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If any part of this message resonated with you, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me in the algorithm. Be, if you feel inclined to do so, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Share this with your family and friends. Leave me a comment below if you feel inclined to do so. Thank you all again for tuning in. Make sure you are tuned in for Monday's Pick a Card that goes out every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you guys very soon. Enjoy the month of July and, I'll, and take care, guys. Many blessings. Peace, guys.